scary. Scary, scary, scary. Linda Westmoreland is yes. here from the oh, Baxter County Master's Gardener. Good, Thanks guys. so much for the applause, guys. Man, and thank I like you. they took up the slack. I like that. There you go. They did it just for you. Yes, they you. did. <laughs> now, the Master's Gardeners, you have like a convention or a seminar or something going on, right? Yes. Um, actually, the, the Baxter County Master Gardeners are one of 75 branches of the same organization. Okay. And we all operate under the auspices of the University of Arkansas. We mm -hmm. um, operate under their agriculture department. And we have what we call the 75 counties. And the 75th county is just a group of our people that come from all of the counties in the state together to help us advertise ourselves and promote mm -hmm. ourselves. Um, basically what we are is we're a group of people who are interested in educating people about growing things, uh, the dangers of planting something that's invasive, um, how bad it can be for you and for your environment. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that's what our seminar is about. This is going to be our 18th annual seminar. So this is local? Though? This is okay, local. This, is, this local. is put on by the local um, organization. Okay. And uh, we've done it every year and usually early in March, late in February. Um, our seminar this year is going to be on Saturday, March the 3rd, mm -hmm. and it's being held at the Redeemer Lutheran Church in their Life mm -hmm. Sciences building. So that's on North Street. On North Street, mm -hmm. yes. The church is on 5 North, but you just go around go the corner. Go the, the back. Yeah, people, if you know where the church is, the Life building Ex is just right over there behind it. Exactly. So there'll be all kinds of information um, about like what grow, grows in this area? Well, what we're going to have tables set up and we're going to have catalogs available for the people that mm -hmm. come to see us. But um, more importantly, um, we're, we're going to have a couple of demonstrations for them. One of our demonstrations is about soil permeability so they can, um, it's an adventure because you can say that I'm a new, a newbie here mm -hmm. in the Ozarks. And I had to learn how to garden rocks when I arrived. Mm -hmm. And so that's How's why... How's your crop of garden uh, or rocks? My rocks are growing just fine, <laughs> thank they, you. They just spring Every up spring the I look out and say, oh, look at all those nice rocks that grew this winter yeah. as they mm -hmm. pop up through the ground. But um, there, are, there are little tricks to it, and we're all learning. I've been a part of the organization for nine years, and I'm learning, learning, learning all the time. Is there something that you grew in your previous area that you can't grow here? Roses. You cannot grow roses. I can't grow roses, and I had gorgeous roses Where did in you California. Where did you come from? Yeah. Where'd you come from? Grow yeah. roses here. Yes, it's and there are people. We have a member, a, a member of our group, uh -huh. who has a beautiful rose garden, and she does it beautifully. But um, she has to spray them a lot. There are a lot of roses that mm -hmm. are very susceptible to what they call black spot, mm -hmm. and. I'm definitely not into sprays. I, I don't mm -hmm. like chemicals. Mm -hmm. I don't like chemicals for insects or any other thing. Mm -hmm. So what's in my garden has to survive. Has to survive. Do you, well. do you uh, incorporate insects to help? Um, you know, some people add prey mantises to. to you know, I have kind of not thing. done that yet here. I used to do it in California. Mm -hmm. um, I used to buy ladybugs every spring yeah. and let them loose on my property. Well, there's plenty here. Mm -hmm. So that <laughs> yeah. they would take care of the bad guys. But um, we, here we have some chickens and they help us out yeah. with that too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know um, in, in my backyard, somebody, a previous owner planted a ground cover kind of vine thing and let's just say it has been very successful and I can just whack it back and whack it back and it just seems like it's like kudzu you walk out two weeks mm. later boom, it's all over my backyard there it is. again yes so um, I, we, I think it was a good idea in theory it, it just it smothered out everything else in my flower beds and stuff well we have the same experience with a yucca plant mm -hmm. um, and and some people like them as a decoration I'm not particularly crazy about them uh, we've been digging it up for nine years and it's still alive and well thank you very much <laughs> it just every year I go oh and it's in my vegetable garden Oh, okay. So every year I dig down deeper and deeper and trying to get to the root of the problem. Trying to get more root yeah. out, and it still wants to come up every yeah, year. Yeah, now, right. is this a free event? We didn't talk about that, or zero? No, no, the cost of the event is fifteen dollars, okay. and and <coughs> just so you know, we use that money every year to fund the things that we do in the community. Okay, uh, we have what are called projects, 
and uh, we take care of an area out at the Twin Lakes Park called the Callista Willett Trail. Mm -hmm. And we have a wildflower garden out there that we completely take care of. We work in the Bull Shoals Park. We work um, over on Spring Street in Cooper Park. Mm -hmm and in the church across the street which is where we hold our meetings because yeah. they let us do that there. The fairgrounds mm -hmm. I know you have some flower beds out at the fairgrounds. We I've have seen. flower beds at the fairgrounds and um, I have the privilege of being the chair of the horticulture room at the fair these last few okay. years mm -hmm. and which is always a big thing that we do. So we take care of some down at the police where the police station used to be mm -hmm. on the corner there we take care of that garden also. Wonderful. So it's going to be March 3rd. It's going to be Saturday, March the 3rd. And Starts um, at? It's 8 o'clock. Okay. We're to having reception, and then at 8.30 we will begin, and it goes until about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Will lunch be served, or there's no lunch break? We offer the opportunity for people to buy lunch okay. for $5 if they wish to. The church ladies are kind enough to make up all the lunches for yeah. us. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. And so it's just pay at the door. There's no pre-registration or anything like that? Ordinarily speaking, there is pre-registration. We got a little bit of a late start this year. So I have a feeling we're going to have some open spots. Mm -hmm. But you're a lot better off if you go to um, uh, BaxterCountyMasterGardeners.org. Mm -hmm. And there is a form on there that you can sign up for it, and it tells mm -hmm. you where to send it. Okay, and kind of reserve a mm -hmm. spot. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Linda, th uh, welcome to Rock Heaven of the World. And Thank you. And I love it here. I won't ever go anywhere else. <laughs> okay, good. And we appreciate you coming on. This is your first time here, so we expect you to come back at least 20 more times. Well, that sounds good to sounds me. Sounds good? Okay. Yeah. You invite me, and I'll come. We okay. will certainly invite you, and, and hopefully you got a successful event this year. Mm -hmm. I hope so. Thanks, Linda. Thank you. Okay, our last guest, uh, we're going to take a break first, but when we come back, we'll be talking with uh, Frank Kay and also Sherry Brown. Stay with us. Yeah.